Hi friends, I'm Adav Thaw from Easy Approach and in this video I'm going to show you how can you make or build an interactive UI login screen in which there is a tally actor at the top of your login form and he will react according to the given information that's passed to it. I mean if the username and the password would be correct or tally will react happily and if the username and password is not correct or tally will be sad. Now let's take a look at the UI that I've designed. Here I have a login screen in which there are three different widgets. The first one is a tax field widget which is for username and the second one is also a tax field widget which is for password and the third one is a simple raise button. Here I have used in the code a scaffold widget as a parent widget with a background color and in the body of a scaffold widget I have given a login screen widget which is a stateful widget defined here. Now in the login screen state in the build method I have returned a column widget for layouting and the column widget I use five different widgets. The first one is the size box, center, size box, container and container. This size box is just for the vertical spacing. It just adds 60 pixels of padding at the top of the screen. And this center container, it's actually a center container, 400 by 400 is the space left for the actor that we are going to put here at the top of the login form. And this size box is also just for the vertical spacing. It just adds 80, 80 pixels of padding and there is an there's a container which actually holds the login form in which there are two tags fields. The first one is for username and the second one is for password separated by divider. And at the last, we have a container that holds the login button that holds actually the raise button. So this is just the UI that we have. Now we have to put our actor here in this center container. But how can we download uh, the actor from twodimensions.com? Now let's move forward. To download the actor, you have to open the browser first and you have to write here twodimensions.com. And the search bar, you have to write here Teddy. Afterwards, all the characters or all the actors will be appear on the screen. Now you have to search for the version which is uploaded by Alexandra because I've tested that version and that's good for what we are doing. Now click on it. And at the left hand side, you can see all the available states of your actor. Fail, test, success, idle. And on clicking success, you can see the happy reaction of your teddy. And on fail, you can see him a little sad. Now how can you use this actor in your Flutter project? Now click here. Click on this export button. And click here export. And just hit here. Now this file is downloaded. Now you can locate this file. Here it is. Now how can you use this in your in your application? You have to do three different things. First thing is you have to add this FLR file in your assets. So you have to make this uh, assets folder and you have to put your file here. I have already done this so you can do as well. Now second thing is that you have to define this this file in your publish pack file as well. Now open publish pack file go here and comment this and you have to define here assets and the file name here teddy underscore test dot flr make sure the name is correct now the third thing and the last thing you have to do is you have to add here dependencies which is flare underscore flutter cap 1.7.7 now you are good to use your first actor in your application. At first, you need to import flare underscore actor dot dart file in your main file. So go at the top, import flare underscore actor dot dart file. Here it is. Now what you can do, you'll go here in the container where we have to put our actor in the child, you'll add a flare actor and you'll pass here the path of your actor. So assets, teddy, underscore test, dot FLR. And you can give here some properties as well, like uh, alignment. And I want it to align at the center. And you can give the property of fit. And at the last, you'll, you have to give uh, the animation, what uh, sort of animation you want. 
and you have to actually define here the state so I want it to be idle uh, for now now let's run it and you can see the actor on the screen now I want it to uh, to be in a in a circle avatar so how can you do this and I'll just uh, go here cut it and I'll use uh, circle avatar and I'll go here uh, in the child and I'll this I'll change the background as well now let's run it but I want to clip uh, the actor in in a circular path as well so I'll use here uh, the clip oval So now let's run it. So there's an error because I've used multiples commas here. So now you can see our actor in the circle. Now you have to define the state based on the given input. I mean, if the password, what I'm doing if the password field is in focus i mean if the user is typing the password our actor will be in the state of test and whenever it he hits the submit button we'll check the password if the password is, is correct then uh, the teddy will be in happy uh, in the state of success and when the password is not correct the te teddy will be in the fail state so how can we do this in order to get the tags from the password field we have to add a tax controller with this tax field so how can you do this go in the uh, go at the top of your login screen state and here define a tax controller which is a password controller tax editing controller now you have to attach this controller with your tax field so how can you do this you just go here and add here controller and this is how you can add the controller now uh, from controller you can access the tags that's uh, that's uh, entered in this password field now how can you check if the user has focused on this password field or not I mean how can you see if the user has focused this password or he is entering the password you have to do this by focus node if you have to check if if some specific text field is in focus you can associate a focus uh, node with this and how can you do this you have to make a focus node password focus node and associate with your text field So we have uh, added the controller uh, so that we can get the text from password field and we have added the focus node as well so that we we can check uh, if this uh, password field is in uh, is in focus or not so whenever it will be in focus we will change the state of our teddy from idle to a uh, test state and whenever he hits uh, the submit button we will get the text and we'll compare it with the original password and if it's equal to the original password we'll change the state of the teddy to the uh, to the success and if it's not correct we'll change the teddy state uh, to uh, um, to fill now I'm gonna define the original or the correct password that we need to compare uh, the user password with so how can you do this go at the top here in the login screen state and here declare a variable a string password equals to anything you want I'm uh, giving here admin so this is the uh, password that we will be comparing the user password with and the second thing is I'm gonna define the animation type of our actor here as well so that we can change it based on the conditions so here animation type and initially I'm giving it idle so firstly what we need to do here you need to change this constant 
to animation type and now firstly we are working on this submit button whenever the user hits this submit button we'll compare the user given password to the original password that we have saved here so go this go in this container where we have defined the raise button go in the on press method and what you have to do you have to check if uh, uh, if the original password is equals to the password that is given by user so how can you do this you can check if user sorry controller password controller dot text dot equals sorry you can use here dot compare and the other string is the pass if this returns zero it means they are equal what you'll do you'll change the state by set state and you'll change the animation type to success and in the else you'll just simply change the state to fail it means the password not correct so now we have done the the submit part now we have to do uh, the focus part i mean whenever the user uh, is focusing on password field we need to change the state of actor from idle to test to do so you need to keep on checking if the user is focusing the password field or not so how can you do this you can add a listener to your focus node so go in your state state class and override uh, the init state method which is actually the which is like uh, um, in constructor for your uh, for your state class and in this init state you need to add a listener to your focus node so uh, here you ha you have a password focus node add listener and in the listener you'll just uh, check if the user has focus uh, the password feed or not so how can you do this just so you have to check if password focus node dot has focus if it returns true it means the user is focusing the password field then you need to change the state set state and you'll just uh, change the animation type to test and whenever it has no focus you'll just change it to idle back so now we have done all the things we have done the focus part and we have compare we have done the submit part as well so let's run this uh, application to check if it's working or not so now whenever i'll fo i'll be focusing on password field uh, our actor will be in the state of test and whenever i hit the submit button uh, the, the application would compare uh, the uh, user given password with the admin uh, and if it's correct uh, it will it will go in the success now let's check it i'm giving a username give anything it will not it will not change the state of your actor but password will do and now whenever i come in the password state you can see the actor face is moving okay now i'm um, i'm giving it the admin the, that's the correct password now let's give it an admin click on submit and you can see the happy face of your teddy it's really a happy face now i'll i'm i'm giving a wrong password clicking on submit and you can see the sad reaction so this is how you can implement uh, this uh, flare actor or flare flutter uh, package in your application and you can use a different sort of animation and make your application um, interactive uh, because uh, they can be used uh, to build a game as well so this is an open source uh, uh, a package you can use easily and uh, you can uh, do multiple things uh, with uh, by using the application uh, by using the animations that uh, you have in two dimension so i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video please share the video and subscribe my channel uh, uh, and please uh, press on the bell icon so that uh, uh, you can get the notification of the videos that i'm gonna make uh, so thank you for watching please subscribe my channel thank you